I really hurt myself last week. Really? So, so yeah, I think I, I think I tore my shoulder. You are in a roll? Yeah, from squeezing his neck. I think I, I just, I think with him resisting and me squeezing, I think I overdid it. And um, I don't know, my shoulder's not moving right. So don't give me too much resistance, but a little bit, it's okay. okay. Um, look, confidence is important, always. You gotta have confidence. If you don't have confidence, you're gonna let the other guy attack you, okay? So two things, when the guy's in the seated position, one, lift his ankles, put him on his back. Two, uh, back up. Double, double stiff arm, shove his body like this. See? So when I'm here, I don't extend, but I shove. I'm not like this, because like this, I'm exposed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like my elbows are in, I step, sit right dead, right. and double arm push hard. Okay? So you get this guy on his back. If he's seated, he's active. If he's active, he can grab my leg, and we have to play here. Now, now he's already started a game. Right. We screwed up. So if he gets this, he has shin to shin. See the position? Now, even if I'm here and I'm on top and I'm good, he's gonna fall towards his left shoulder, lift my, put my hands on the mat. Now, he's gonna try to collect the legs and we have to play wizard. It's very hard to get to the underhook, which I want this, if I can, before he grabs my leg. So I want to be here because now I can push his face down. If it's MMA, we're striking, or I can come through with the underhook. Okay. You see that? So look at my stance, my posture. The elbows are in. This hand connect to your leg, so that if if he comes from my leg, see I have the underhook, and I can go over. Roll. If the guy tries to come on top, I have the chin. This what is this called? You guys know, remember? Sanchez. 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 And then roll on top. Okay? So this is the stance here. One leg in front, not square. Because if you go square, he can just kick you out. Not just this, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, the guy's, if the guy stands, and he's playing square, and the guy's... Uh, back up. See, this guy's square. I'm like, I put my hands out, look like I'm doing no nothing. Okay, so I'm always with one leg, okay? Even if he goes under, up, here, and then he spins. Yeah, like this, to try to create the attack. Establish your balance, see my balance, I'm keeping my weight on him. I never let him throw me. Throw me this way, mm -hmm. right? Throw me this way, you know? All of this, you don't allow any of that. If the guy spins, establish your balance. Control the other leg. See, I'm controlling it. If this leg goes all over here, still, balance. Foot balance, hands, hug the neck, keep your balance. He's trying to make me off balance, get my knee to the mat, scroll. Okay. Obviously, don't let him. So if he comes for a leg, the underhook and then cut through so if I'm always like this here we can go knee cut we can go Sanchez so over the head and then shoulder roll cut across okay keeping this here or from what I said in the beginning okay that way we stay out of the guard and pass okay double arms sit up See, so put him here. So that now, when he tries to play now, he's looking for my legs. I step back and go. I like that. But it, wait, what do a lot of people do? They go like this. Look at my stance. Terrible stance. I'm just walking like this, and then I go. Like out of position. And then now he goes. You understand? Yeah. Now, now you play. Just to show what it looks like. Yeah, now we're like this. Now it's too late. You screwed up. See what I mean? You don't want to be standing like that. It comes from stance. Stance right here. Just like when we're going in wrestling, motion, everything's the same. Just right here. Keeping this hand low, catching the underhook, guarding this leg. 
See how I lower my body? Now when he tries to put me on my back, I have the underhook. Cut to the back. You guys see it? Yes, sir. Get with a partner. I know it's hard if you don't know how to play like this. Like if you're standing. If, if you don't know how to play, this becomes hard because you don't know how. But just do this. Like try to be here. And, and when you go to grab, uh, I gotta be careful. Here you go. I'm already starting to hurt. I already did too much. Yeah. Now cut through. Good. See, see, don't let him. See, see the position? Yeah. Look, I, this is also very important. So like, back up, back up. Guys, like, after, you know how after he did a pass? Like, he did a pass. He passed, then what happens? He stands up, the guy recovers, and you now you're caught. You see what I mean? This is, you just did this. Okay? Even during practice, even during practice, you don't give them the position. After, after this, here, when I stand up, you see what I'm, my position. I, I don't just stand up and go here because now take, if he leg. connects, now he's gonna spin. Take my leg, dude. Okay, and then we get tangled up. And then leg locks and all this other nonsense. We don't have, not nonsense, but things that we don't wanna get caught in. I just say nonsense. I say it's nonsense because we should not get caught is the point. So after, so Ryan, good habits. After here, and you wanna reset. He's recovering the guard. Look at my body, even if I'm low position. If he tries to get underneath my body, yeah, and he keeps coming in, look, my position's low, that way I can start passing the guard. I don't, I don't wanna be standing up straight, and if I am, I'm very confident. If I stand up like this, I'm very confident. <laughs> in other words, I'm, now he's coming in, and I go, you, go, go. you understand what I mean by confidence? Yeah, the leg moves. I'm just like, go ahead, take my I'm just like pummeling, and the guy's moving. Yeah, he goes to step in, I'm stepping <laughs> past it. Go a little You go up, uh, they'll heave it. Yeah, they'll heave it, that's fine. No, that's or happening. inverted, inverted, yeah. Staying up. Away from the legs, so we can pass. Right. Okay, sir. Let's go. One, two, three.